nine months late, higher than expected prices, and performance gains that might still make you say, shut up and take my money. This is the ASUS ROG XG Mobile 2025, finally launching worldwide, but not exactly how ASUS planned. First teased at CES 2025, the new XG Mobile was supposed to drop back in February. ASUS promised sleek portability, next-gen GPUs, and an aggressive price tag. But after radio silence and missed deadlines, the launch has taken an unexpected turn, and it's not ASUS leading the rollout. Instead of appearing through ASUS's official store, the XG Mobile 2025 has surfaced through third-party retailers. Excalibur PC is stocking both models in the US, and Amazon is offering the RTX 5070 Ti version, but only if Amazon itself is selected as the seller. Asus? Still listing? Nothing. And here's where things get interesting. Asus originally announced $1,199.99 for the RTX 5070 Ti version, $2,199.99 for the RTX 90 model. Reality check? Prices have climbed. The 5070 Ti model now lands at $1,299.99 in the US, while the 5090 variant jumps to $2,499.99. In China, MSRPs translate to roughly $1,124 and $2,389. It's a noticeable increase, but does the performance justify it? According to early benchmarks, the RTX 5090 configuration flexes its muscles with around 40% more gaming performance compared to the 5070 Ti, and about 30% higher scores in synthetic tests. So yes, there's a price jump, but the performance gap is very real. Regardless of which GPU you choose, every XG Mobile 2025 comes equipped with a next-gen Thunderbolt 5 port delivering up to 140 watts via USB Power Delivery 3.1. There's also a UHS-2 microSD card reader, Gigabit Ethernet, DisplayPort 2.1, and HDMI 2.1 FRL, more than enough to run a high-performance desk setup. A 330-watt power brick keeps everything fed, contributing to the unit's 952 grams weight and compact 296 by 208 by 155 millimeters footprint. The RTX 5070 Ti version is already shipping, but if you're eyeing the RTX 5090 model, you'll need to wait just a little longer. US shipments for the top tier variant begin November 7th. So, worth the wait or too little too late? Drop your thoughts below, hit that like button, and subscribe for more deep dives into the latest performance hardware. Thanks for watching.